Greetings, my lords and ladies. Welcome back. This is Lady of Avalon from DKUS Studio, here today to introduce you the new update, 2.8. This time, we're not adding a proper new feature. Instead, we've been working on game balance to give you a smoother, faster, and more enjoyable game experience. So get comfortable and keep watching the video. The first change is meant for those alliances who have managed to complete most of the researches and are struggling with the donations. We received lots of feedback about that in the last couple of weeks, so we decided to add a function that will let you speed up the research time. From now on, R4 and R5 members of the Alliance will be able to speed up their Alliance tech research time directly from the Alliance tab using the Alliance funds. And this will hopefully let you donate more, and we really want to thank you for your very useful feedback. The biggest change of this update is that we're finally bringing you Stronghold level 31, which should please most of our high-level players. With this also comes Troops building level 31. To upgrade it, you're gonna need a new item, which is called Noble Badge, that right now you can get through Lucky Draw, Special Packages and Noble Chests that you can get from Monsters and Barbarians, so make sure to check it out. Regarding the benefits, you're gonna get a new skin for your castle that's gonna be visible on your map, and then two extra bonuses for your march capacity. The first one is pure numbers, so 5,500 troops will be added to your march capacity, and the second one is an extra 10%, which depends on the current capacity of your march. At that point, you can use the noble badges to upgrade the troops buildings too, so like barracks and stables. And obviously, this is gonna give extra benefits to your army, and you can tap on the corresponding buildings to check them. In a previous update, we added a function that allows you to switch from one set of equipment to another one in just one click. From now on, you're gonna be able to do the same to your Lord Talents. Basically, you prepare two sets of talents, and then you can switch from the first one to the second one in the Talent tab. And to do so, you're gonna need to activate VIP level 12. Okay guys, that's it for the additional functions. I hope you're gonna have fun with them. And remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye!